Yo, 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 yo. If they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke News TV. Before we even start this Young Dolph video and this Yo Gotti video, y'all know what to do. Smash that like button. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Notification on. Share the video. Most importantly, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Because a lot of smoke still going on in Memphis. And we got a lot. We got a lot. We got to talk about all that smoke, that part. So y'all already know the vibes. So today's video, man, we're going to go back down memory lane a little bit. We're going to go back about seven, eight years ago when Dolph did an interview down with, um, down in Atlanta, down with the Dirty Boys. Shout out to them. I don't know if they still popping, whatever. You know what I mean, shout out to their platform, the Dirty Boys down there. They did an interview with him a long time ago. And they asked him a few questions about the Yo Gotti thing. And, you know, I figure I'll choose this video because it was kind of fresh at that time, around the time Yo Gotti just signed on Black Youngster. So this is the part when Dolph started talking and all that. So, you know, Dolph started barking at him. So we're going to react to this. I'm going to react to this. Definitely got a lot to say about these clips. I'm going to play. So before we even play these clips and we start it, let's get this copyright fair use disclaimer out the way. You can find that in my description on my channel. Everything that I speak is for educational entertainment purpose. Again, copyright fair use disclaimer. You can find that in my description on my channel. And everything that I speak on is for educational entertainment purpose. And also the clips that I play are also owned by the original creators. Let's get that out the way, man. So we're going to go back down memory lane where Young Dolph did this interview. Now, the reason why he went on his platform because he was promoting, um, y'all remember that out? Y'all remember that song Dolph had when he was dissing on um, Gotti? Instead of putting a yo, he put a hoe. And he, you know, that diss song, y'all know what I'm talking about. Well, he went on there, that was one of, that was one of the hottest diss songs around that time. So he was going on that platform and basically promoted what up. Uh, it kind of turned out the other way. He kind of said, F the music. I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue talking about this big head dude because he had a lot to say at that time. And he wanted to speak the truth. So we're going to play the first clip. Let's get to it. I ain't going to keep y'all here too long. I know how I do. I'm going to react to all this because I want to explain to y'all and for the people that stay on oh, Dolph was the one that kept estigating. He kept him. He kept pushing the buttons on him. He kept, no. They dissed each other a couple of times in the beginning, and then Dolph left it alone after that until Gotti got young, um, until he got black youngster. Because Gotti knew he had to get Dolph out the way, man. That part. What are we talking about here? Let's continue, though, man. Let's play the first clip. Rest in peace, young Dolph. I don't want to discuss that because it's all da da da, and I thought it was squashed. But evidently, then you drop it, then you drop the first song off the tape. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know what I mean? what, what's going oh. on? Man, really tell you the truth. I think I really had I was laughing at all this shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I was laughing at everything really. You know what I'm saying? Like from from the whole everything. You know what I'm saying? I was just laughing at it. So it all I got I was like, okay, I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. Right. It's like when you get so much money, a lot of stuff, you see negativity or you see a lot of stuff coming your way, like you don't even indulge in it or you laugh at it, brush it out. You keep, like, it's funny to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, it like, man, I would, I, I would, I better not get this 0% right. attention. You know what I'm saying? 1% right. attention. But what sparked this, bro, real talk. And we've been talking My about little this. partners. Uh -huh. My little Now, see? Smash that like button before we continue. For real. Smash the like button. Man. It's free. Smash it. <coughs> now y'all see that right <coughs> he said he laughed at it at first for somebody that commented on one of my videos they're like nah yo you wrong Dolph did some first you're wrong you probably from talking about and I think the person says it's from Memphis I know you ain't from Memphis you probably somewhere from Tennessee somewhere but you, you ain't from Memphis when Dolph didn't want to sign Yo Gotti man things got ugly after that and that's what Dolph gonna explain throughout this whole interview Gotti threw the shots first Dolph responded. They was going back and forth from the beginning. Let's continue. One of my little partners and another one of my partners. The first one, he was like, bro, you heard God a new tell you, bro? He, bro, you ain't heard, bro? He dissing you, bro. He's, I'm telling you, bro. He said he sleep dissing you, bro. He's, he's saying, I'm like, I'm like, all right, bro. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, when I don't even like to hear negativity. Right. You know what I'm saying? So 
second one come. We in the car now, blazing. Mm-hmm. He like, bro, you heard this? What's up, what's up? You like, man, nigga trying to this. He like, bro, really, bro? His, his last two tapes he put out. You like, I'm like, you like, you ain't heard it. I'm like, no. He like, bro, you gotta keep. Bro. I'm like, I don't listen to it. Right. So he like, listen to it, play. It. I said, oh, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like he, he thought going. the coast was clear. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, he know that everybody over there with him know that. Oh, really? Not even just them. Everybody that know Dolph know, like, man, that, that young nigga about his business. Right. You know what I'm saying? He about his paper. Right. He running around. And that's why Gotti was bad. Go back. <clears throat> See, this interview is, was more important, is more interesting because the simple fact we got a lot of other interviews, like recently, a couple, like a year or two years before Dolph died. But see, Dolph was already, you know what I mean? He was already here. He was already climbed up. Already. His money was already hot. He, he leveled up even more. Put it like that before he died. This interview was like seven. This day in there about a decade ago. This is about seven, eight years ago, this interview. It was almost 10. So this is around the time, you know, Dolph had his money. He was playing with Mills. He had his own money. Remember, he turned down three point something mil his first offer. What are we talking about? Am I lying? Do y'all research if I y'all think I'm lying? The second offer was 22. Remember that infamous video he did with the, he ripped the contract, whatever? That was a what, 22 million contract, $20 million? And he, he he turned that down. You can't get mad at a brother that he had a bigger tunnel vision for his, for his empire, for his label, the one he built. He had a bigger, he had a big, he had a bigger vision. So when Gotti couldn't sign this nigga in the beginning, now go back to Couple of Gotti interviews. Go back to a couple of his interviews. And I got I'm, I'm gonna play one of Gotti interviews after all this is over, actually. But I want y'all to hear what young Dolph had to say first. Gotti always tried to, you know, praise him like he was a little dude, this and that and the third. But one interview, Gotti did say that boy is a hustler. And Dolph said that shit too. That he told me. He's like, man, I see one thing. I Dolph said Gotti told him that if you come over here, man, I ain't gotta worry about you. I ain't gotta. I ain't got a pamper. I ain't got to school you to the game. Am I lying? Dolph said that one his interview before he died. Basically dissing one of his artists, Gotti. Because he's seen a hustle in young Dolph. He's seen that grind. He's seen he ain't have to pamper him, teach him. That was a threat, bro. It only, it, listen, between them two, it only could be one, one king of Memphis. And obviously, Gotti wanted that crown because he's been in the game longer. When I play these clips, you're going to see why the attitude Gotti had. Let's continue, man. Rest in peace, young dog. He about that paper. Right. He run around here getting all this money and busting it down with no one. Right. Know what I'm saying? Who right. the CEO? He is. I, 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 Who the CEO? He is. He about that paper. Right. He run around here getting. Young Dolph, nigga. A little, he about that paper. Right. He running around here getting all this money and busting it down with no one. Right. Know what I'm saying? Who right. the CEO? He is. I I I, I said that because I remember know talking. What I'm saying? I remember so, having a conversation with so, so, so you. So so it's like this. It's like this right here. He thought the coast was clear. Mm -hmm. It been dead. It been over with. What he do? Oh, let me let me slick, uh, rap about it. It really it didn't make no noise. Right. You see. You see, it ain't make no it. noise until Dow J put this song out. Right. You see what I'm saying? And as far as, like, oh, Dow Trump want to get publicity, no. The song was on the CD anyway. You was going to hear it the next day anyway when the CD dropped. Right. You know what I mean? It's this ain't no diss song, right. but it's straight facts. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, straight the truth, like facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, put it like this. When you first heard of his artist, how did you hear about his artist? He made his he made his artist he made his artist uh 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 uh, uh say screen Dolph name he he made his artist bring up Dolph name and, and tie Dolph name to his name right that's when yeah, who artist he talking about black youngster you see I'm glad I found this what well, I've been seeing the interview but I'm glad I'm actually showing y'all this because I've been told people Gotti on listen man. Gotti, when he came out with them diss songs, nobody didn't even knew about them diss songs that he, he, he was dissing Young Dolph until Young Dolph responded back. Because Young Dolph had the streets, bro. He had the streets. 
and he had the streets in all states. It, Atlanta niggas was wasn't rock. They wasn't rocking with Yo Gotti. Atlanta wasn't rock. Them Atlanta niggas out there wasn't ATL niggas was not rocking with Yo Gotti. But they was rocking with Young Dolph. He had fans out there. That's the thing that Young Dolph gonna explain to y'all. A lot of things that Yo Gotti was speaking, speaking and rapping about, it was false. But we know a lot of rappers do that. We know a lot of rappers fake it till they make it. We know that. But see, what Gotti did is he got too big-headed and he forgot that. I'm not saying Gotti ain't do nothing. Gotti probably did a little something, something here and there and there, but the way he used to be talking, he used to talk like he moving on birds and all that. He used to talk like he was Young Jeezy. Remember him and Young Jeezy had a little fallout and Young Jeezy like, who the hell is this nigga? Exactly. What are we talking about? Am I lying? Gotti was speaking about big jilt life back in the 80s and shit like that. That's what he was speaking about. Here come the young boy Dolph. That's why Dolph comes out. Dolph can't sign to a nigga like that. He knows the type of nigga he is. He know that nigga. He know his big brother. He know he knows the real niggas is. He looking at God like, you ain't that. Nah, you ain't that. And what I'm building over here, if I come over there, you're going to get all the credit. Ain't going to be no paper wrap. It's going to be all about CMG. And that was a smart move that young Dolph did because he knew he was a better hustler than, uh, than Yo Gotti. Let's get to though, man. He about it, paper. Right. He running around, I just bring up Dolph name and, and tie Dolph name to his name, right? That's when everybody got, oh, him, sudden, sudden. Nobody never knew him. Right. See what I'm saying? That's how he got his attention. Now, I mean, you already made your artist use my name to get some attention. I let that shit, I, I, I laughed at that. It's funny to me. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's funny to me. Now, not even just that. How did you get? How did you? How did you get? How did you get popping? Right. How do you get it first? How do you, how do you, how do your guy to get popping and get some attention? Man, uh, nobody heard of him to win until <laughs> he did three six mafia. Oh, this is true. Right, right, okay. Right. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna play it back for y'all. Like I told y'all, I'm gonna, listen. We got a couple more. I'm gonna play it back. My thing is, when, see, my young boy, he spit this this interview, the way he broke it down on Yo Gotti is crazy. You came in the game by dissing legends from your city. 3-6 Mafia. Everybody in Memphis know they legends out there. What are we talking about here? You came in the game dissing them niggas because you, you want a little spotlight because you couldn't come in the game no other way like how Young Dolph came in the game. See, he grind his way. He showed the money to the industry. How many rappers actually did that? Master P did that. Cash Money did that. There's only but a handle. There's only but a few that actually had it in the streets and came in the industry with it. Young Dolph is one of them. What are we talking about here? Am I lying? Hit that like button. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. But Dolph brought it from the streets to the industry. Gotti ain't do that. What are we talking about? Let's go back, man. I just bring up Dolph name and, and tie Dolph name to his name, right? That's when everybody got all oh, him, sudden, sudden. Nobody never knew him. Right. See what I'm saying? That's how he got his attention. Now, I mean, you already made your artist use my name to get some attention. I let that shit, I, I, I laughed at that. It's funny to me. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's funny to me. Now, not even just that. How did you get, how did you, how did you get, how did you get popping? Right. How do you get it first? How do you, how do you, how do your guy to get popped and get some attention? Uh, Man, nobody heard of him to win until he did three six mafia. Oh, this right, is true. Right, okay. Right. I remember that. You see what I'm yeah. saying? That so is- now, <clears throat> Dow put out a record telling the truth, telling you, hey, nigga, I'm telling you, hey, you, your brother, your manager, your That's DJ, good. every bro, I would, I would, bro, I would have his own people to come in. Hey, yeah, DJ, his own, <laughs> bro. He couldn't even say what he wanted to say. He wanted to say some street shit. Nigga, I helped y'all niggas with a lot of shit. That's what he wanted to say. Allegedly. Everything we speak on is alleged. That's what Dolph wanted to speak on. I gave y'all niggas work. I gave y'all niggas all that. I gave y'all niggas birds all that. That's what Dolph probably wanted to say. I helped your brother after he got washed up. Because like I told y'all my old video, once upon a time, Big Juke was that nigga probably. Back in the days. But the young niggas come in the game. They take over. Niggas get mad, bro. Paper route. They was coming in too fast. He had the city on smash. 
What are we talking about here? And he wasn't even signed to a major label. God, he was. God, he had what? One, two little singles and all that? Like, come on. God, he wasn't popping in the beginning like that at all. What Gotti got where he got, he had to sign a big label contract. And let's not get to Glorilla. Glorilla was going to sign my paper right before the own, before the own Young Dolph died. What are we talking about here? Y'all remember the infamous tweet? She rocked with Young Dolph before she rocked with Yo Gotti. She was a Dolph fan. Dolph heard, um, heard her music and everything. She said out of her mouth, pause. What are we talking about? I'm just showing y'all how this... People want to think that Dolph started this and all this. Nah, Dolph ain't start this. Gotti got mad because Dolph ain't want to sign his life to Dolly to the um to Gotti on um, um, label. He ain't want to sign his his whole life and his contract and his label to to Gotti CMG. That's what he ain't want to do. He wasn't beat for that. He seen a bigger picture, bigger tunnel vision. Why sign with this nigga when I know this nigga ain't even about what he talking about? It doesn't make no sense. And that's what he's gonna explain again. Let's continue though into it really because a lot of people it's like i ain't gonna say it like some of them cool like they don't a lot of them shook them out like but i can't deal with him bro he too fake he too he dishes that he want to control this control it now he's speaking on former artists that god he had because somebody in my comments said oh you wrong god he been signed on people before he got black i said black youngster was the first artist that he signed to this young dog that's what i said all these other artists, he, they, they was in and out. You know why? Because Dolph gonna explain to you. A lot of artists they want to beef with Dolph because because God he had one, one of these niggas to bark at Dolph. It makes sense. When, when Dolph tell you right here that <clears throat> a couple artists called me and told me, man, I ain't messing with that nigga. That nigga wanted me to, you know what I mean, diss you and bark at you. you know what I mean, if I gotta sign with him, this and that. You know what I mean, one nigga, one nigga took the opportunity. And that was Black Youngster. And what'd he do when he first got in the game? He started dissing Young Dolph. Am I lying? What are we talking about here? That nigga wasn't spitting no bars. He came in the game straight dissing Young Dolph, straight from the door. Let's continue. Into it, really, because a lot of people, it's like, I ain't gonna say, it like, some of them cool, it's like, they don't, a lot of them shook him out, like, bro, I can't deal with him, bro, because he too fake, he too, he dishes that, he wanna control this, control they like, Bro, he done got rid of a certain artist because they, they don't want to beef with Dolph or they don't like, bro, I ain't got nothing to do with your beef with Dolph. You hating right. on him about a, a bitch. Right. <laughs> you hating on him about a bitch. Reality. You hating on him because he, he was not sign with you. You know what I mean? Right. You hating on him because you popping and you really popping and he still independent. You know what I mean? Right. You hating on him because he really got M's and no, did the shit without no help. You see what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. Hey, check it out, man. If you're just now tuning in, man, we still right here talking to Young Dolph about everything that's going on, man, with this situation, this new record that, that has went crazy on the internet. You know what I'm saying? So Dolph is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, fuck <laughs> the record. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, anyway. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. <coughs> like I told y'all, boy, rest in, rest in peace my boy. They had to get my boy. They had to. God, he had to. And he had Big Jip to do that, allegedly. And everything we speak on is alleged. He had Big Jip to do that, man. They had to get Dolph out the way. They couldn't keep that boy in the industry. They couldn't keep him. He had a city. He had to get, come on. He want, the, he want that crown, King of Memphis. Yo, God, he want that crown. It couldn't be two kings down there, obviously, because what we see at the end, look, the real king got up out of here. That's the real king of Memphis down there, man. And I'm lying. What are we talking about here? That boy did it from the dirt, man. Come on. What are we talking? Let's continue, though. I ain't gonna even. I ain't gonna even. I ain't gonna even want to fake it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I you know what I'm saying? To, like, to say something about it because I feel this is, this is I feel one of the hardest diss songs or hardest records that then came out expressing the, the, uh, just the real of hey, how you feel. Put it like this. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just uh, me personally, I deal with facts. Right. See what I'm saying? You had to use Three Six Mafia and dish them to get you some attention. Right. You made your artist use my name to get some attention. See what I'm saying? Right. Real niggas, me personally, mm -hmm. when I want attention, when I want, I don't finna make a scene, make a, make a, make a, uh, 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 
a, a scene or make some commotion, right. I'm finna go spend my paper. I'm finna go flex. I'm finna go, I'm finna, let me go buy me a new chain, a new watch. Let me go buy me a new coupe. A right. new, like, I'm finna just go crazy. I'm, I'm gonna do all that right there. Right. Plus, the music to go with it gonna speak for itself. Right. So. The music go with it that speak for itself. Obviously, God didn't do the same thing. See, the reason why I'm doing this because the simple fact that Dolph know these niggas, bro. That's like in any city. Any city, these niggas be knowing each other. So when another nigga, that's like the 50 Cent and Jabu situation. When Jabu was in the industry, similarities with Yo Gotti and Young Dolph. Now, I'm not saying Yo Gotti ain't do nothing in the street. I'm not saying that. But the way Yo Gotti used to be speaking and talking, he used to be talking like a young Jeezy out here. And we know who Young Jeezy was and we know who he was running with. So his rap speaks for itself. His raps was facts. What are we talking about? There's people that vouch for Jeezy. Saying that he did what he did in them raps them days in them early 2000s, them BMF days. There ain't nobody vouching for your God and talking about he had them birds and them keys out there in Memphis. What are we talking about? Memphis, am I lying? But you hear a lot of people talking about young Dolph. He was giving out 10,000 here, 5,000 over there, giving a couple allegedly pounds over here. Come on. Niggas from out of state talking about this nigga. You know what I mean? Dolph. And this is all independently. Not signed with a big label. Remind y'all, he's not signed to a big label. And I'm speaking on Young Dolph. Smash that like button. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I don't know what y'all waiting on. Let's continue, man. Shit ain't getting me hot. That shit is doing nothing for me. Right. It's the point, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna I ain't even, I ain't gonna wanna fake. Shit ain't getting me hot. That shit is doing nothing for me. Right. It's the point, bro. It's the, it's the principle. It's the principle. My man. nigga, don't don't play with me. Play with I your re bitch. See, I remember because we had see a conversation. What I'm saying? You didn't even, last interview that we had, I asked you about that. And it's, check this out. Check this out. It. Check this out. Mm. He's he just a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Just, I don't know, bro. Just, I don't. He, he's just, he just, fuck him. He's just a bitch, man. You, you know think, what I mean? You All think that me. situation is going to overshadow all this music you got coming out? Like with the tape? Hell you think, nah. think it's going to overshadow that? No, I'm going to tell you why. Cause my fan base, this shit is different from everything else. I ain't blow up on the radio. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I blew up off of putting music out, putting music out, putting music out, video, 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 put music out, single out, single out, single out. Like, right. you know what I mean? Like that's what kind of fan base I got. I ain't gonna oh, he blew up because of he got signed and had that single on the radio. He got him. No, that ain't how mine go. Right. Talking about yo Gotti. It's going down in the DM, it go down, it go down in the DM, it go. Those them hot, that's the little radio play. Got it got by what, two, little two hit radio plays. If I am mistaken, I might be missing one. But see, you got to respect the young boy, though. You got to respect the young boy, though. You got to respect the young Dolph, though. He did it without, he ain't had no hit on no goddamn radio that played from the East out there in New York City and all that East Coast Chicago. He ain't had no hit. That kept rotating on the radio every night at NYC. He ain't had that. Maybe the own DJs, the, you know, after after a certain amount of time, you got the late night DJs, they play Young Dolph shit and all that. But we talking about a hit, hit, single hit. That's what Dolph talking about. He ain't had to go to that. He ain't got that type of fan. See, I ain't listen. I didn't hear about Dolph through no damn radio. Let's get to that part. And I ain't from down south. That part. I heard it just the way he broke it down. He kept dropping music, music, videos, music. I'm like, bro, who this nigga right here? Be from Memphis. This boy fire right here. Because I wasn't a Yo Gotti fan. Let's get to that part. I wasn't really, because let me tell you, son, the reason why I wasn't a Yo Gotti fan because of the simple fact when him and Young Jeezy had that little thing going back and forth. Because when I first heard Yo, heard Yo Gotti, I'm like, yo, who the hell this nigga talking like? You know, he kind of, he was kind of imitating Young Jeezy at the time. He moving birds, you know, his sound, the way he was speaking and all this, the way his, his bars was coming out. I'm like, yo, this nigga trying to sound like, geez, now nah, young, now nah, he trying to sound like the snowman. You ain't the snowman, boy. <laughs> you ain't the, Gucci had to put you in your place too. You ain't the snowman, man. Like, come on, what we talking about here? Dumb niggas rock with Young Dolph, though. Real recognized real. Gucci rock with Young Dolph from day one. So what Dolph's spitting, what Dolph talking about gotta be facts. And the people in Memphis know the truth too. Who's the most, who, who's the most willest one? Young Dolph or Yo Gotti? Memphis, tap in, comment in below, let me know. Who's the real one out there? Young Dolph or Yo Gotti? 
I put my money on Young Dog. I think his percentage is more high. Let's continue, though. Not me. Oh, that shit. Even this Yo Gotti situation. What is, is there a... a is there ever going hey, to be a way to... Hey, don't even, Kyle, don't refer to him as no guy. He ain't got... We, please don't... His, I don't, that you, ain't his name. What do you refer to him as? Uh, you know, <laughs> you know what his name is. Okay, look, so... the I mean? So with this... Call with, him nobody. With this other artist... They sound... They, 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 yeah, do that. With this other that, artist, right you know what I'm saying? Is there... Will there ever be any type of... um, You, you know what I'm saying? Where y'all can be cool again? Like, is there any possible way? No. No. Was it at no. one point, y'all were cool at one point, right? It had to be. I'm from the same city. We was. That's how we even got to, had a, a relationship. You, it's footage all over the internet. You know what I mean? Where right. us different, this spot together, that spot together, a studio, uh, this and that. He lying on interview talking about all oh, me and Dolph, we this and that. And I pull up and listen to her, all this music, and we boys. And why you lying? We ain't partners like that. Right. Y'all seen, y'all see my boy? He said we ain't partners like that. <laughs> y'all, y'all heard him. And that's the problem. When real recognize real and when real see fake, he looking at that boy like he looking at that nigga like, yo, listen, you older than me, number one. Number two, you supposed to have more, more knowledge and more, and the way you move is is is, is sloppy. You ain't moving like a like a real, like a real G from your town supposed to move like a real OG. Because on the next, on his next clip, he's gonna break it down to y'all. He gonna break it down while Memphis and and, and, the, and I said this. Yo Gotti and Big Jook, they could have provoked, they could have stopped all this. They're older. They've been in the game longer than Dolph. And both the streets and the industry. What are we talking about here? And when Dolph say this on his next clip, like, yo, listen, the reason why people don't get along in Memphis, because they start it start with them. You hated on the older niggas, three six mafia, and now you hate you hated on the young niggas, meaning you hated on young Dolph. You ain't want no competition, especially with that type of competition that was coming. With young Dolph was different. Let's play this last clip so y'all can understand what the hell I'm talking about. Smash that like button. Do me that favor. Not me. Oh, that shit. I, I can't do it. All that it's fake. It's like he should have just really just stayed doing what he was doing. Right. And he should have just let Dolph continue doing what Dolph was doing, get his money and mind right. his business and, and, wear, and worrying about Dolph and doing his thing. Now, you know, call <laughs> Dolph to expose your bitch ass. Man, but you know I mean, ain't no coming back. What you finna say? Nothing. I hope what you finna rap about? Some lies. I hope y'all can reconcile this, man. See, y'all can rep the city. Y'all can rep y'all city. I know Memphis got a history Bruh, of good music. But you know music, why? You know? We got a history of good music. Right. But as far as the rap game and the rap world, mm -hmm. we got a history of got of of of. We don't. The rappers don't get along. Why you, you know why? why? Is that though? Cause what's going on? Who who like in the midst of all that? Like who was like and came in during the mid era? Him, big head dude. What he do? Came in hating on three six. Now my other got all hating on ball and G. Now my all that. You know what I mean? So you so then so you go from so you come in hating on the folk before you, you and win. you gonna hate on the one after you. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Just don't play with me. Play with your bitch. Play with him. Exactly. See, that's a mental thing. If you hating on the folks before you, and then you start hating on the folks after you, the young boys and all that, that's a mental thing. That's why I say young Dolph is a more realer person than him. Because young Dolph gave more opportunities to them young boys out there in the Memphis than he ever did. Yo, Gotti, what are we talking about here? Am I lying? And I'm talking about Memphis artists. There's more Memphis artists signing people out than CMG. What that tells you? Who's giving more opportunities? Who's helping other helping niggas feed their family and kids? Let's play this one click with your God is saying that he he never had a problem on with young dog. Let's play this clip, yo. And uh, TMZ reports you on the LAPD's radar in connection to the young Dolph shooter. Being home never had one argument. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ever in life. Mm -hmm. We never touched each other. Ever in life. We never uh, exchanged no money ever in life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The facts is just, I'm the biggest rapper from Memphis. I actually was helping them. Mm -hmm. I didn't really just, just want to sign them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Giving them advice. Letting them come out on my shows. You know what I'm saying? Like, telling them how the game goes. Letting my people work with them. 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like to advise them on how to build this company up and all that. So it was cool. Yo, this dude crazy. Yo, smash that like button. Do me that favor. Smash the like button. Number one, how you gonna teach a young boy how to do his company when he he already grinding, ready doing what he doing already? He already built it from the dirt. How you gonna teach him? How you gonna have your folks helping when he already had his folks helping himself and got his meals on his on his own the way he was grinding? Let's go back, man. And uh, TMZ reports you're on the LAPD's radar in connection to the young Dolph shooter. Being home never had one argument. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ever in life. Mm-hmm. We never touched each other. Ever in life, we never uh, exchanged no money ever in life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The facts is just, I'm the biggest rapper from Memphis. I actually was helping them. Mm-hmm. I didn't really just, just want to sign them, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Giving them advice, letting them come out on my show. Yo, listen, if y'all want to see the whole, play the first one. How you, how you giving a nigga advice, a young nigga, when he doing what he doing on his own? You see, like I told you, it's that ego. I'm the biggest nigga coming out of Memphis. What are we talking about here? It's that ego. Like Dolph said in that old interview eight years ago, nigga, you hated on 3-6 Mafia, nigga, because you wanted to take their spotlight because you ain't know how to get in the industry, so you decided to diss up, niggas. You got your feet wet. You made sure nobody came out of Memphis for a long time. Am I lying? What are we talking about here? Young Dolph came out, boom. You try to sign him because you seen his grind. You seen the way he was moving. You seen the way he had them young boys behind him. You seen the way he was, you just seen this whole empire growing. He didn't want to sign to you because he know the truth about you. You got mad. You signed Black Young. First, you start throwing shots in the beginning. Dolph throw a couple shots back at you, meaning they was dissing, meaning they was dissing each other on the tracks. A little, little bit of rap beef. Dolph left it alone because he leveled up. His money went up. Go back to the what? The second clip when he said, I laughed at it. I wasn't even paying no mind to him. You know why? Because when he said, what Dolph said, when your money start getting up, you start you start not even thinking about the negativity. What are we talking about here? So what advice and what kind of, what you was teaching him? He already had his tunnel vision. The same way, yo, Gotti, your tunnel vision, you wanted to be like a Jay-Z. Those are the, one, those are the niggas you admire. Don't even come from their hood, don't know nothing about that. I know about Jay-Z more than you do, probably, nigga. What are we talking about here? <laughs> but those are the niggas you admire. He had his own ton of tunnel vision. He want to build his empire the way he want to build it. But you want to sound like you this OG coming out of Memphis and all this. See, that's the problem. They don't want to see another young nigga eat. That part. You hate when you, you don't want to see another young nigga eat, man. And the way he did it on some no limit masterpiece shit. That's the way that boy did it. They didn't sign to a big label yet. And when, when he died, he didn't even sign to a big label. Empire ain't no big ass label. What are we talking about here? He signed a distribution deal with them, I think. Something like that. Come on, man. Smash that like button, man. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. I don't know what you're waiting on. That boy going to sit there and tell about, yeah, you know, I try to get my peoples to work with him and all this. And, you know, I try to give him advice. Well, basically, you know what it is. I'm the, you know, I'm the, I'm the king of Memphis. What? That ain't what it is, boy. That ain't what it is. You mad because you couldn't sign that boy before that empire took off, nigga. That was the problem. That boy kept dropping the heat after heat after heat after heat. And if they wasn't heat, nigga, he just kept dropping re- albums, re- fucking mixtapes after. Come on, man. That boy was on fire. He deserved that. And he used his money wisely. What are we talking about? Real estate, buying stuff in Memphis and all that. This is coming out of young Dolph Mouth. Pause on his interviews. He said he was doing that in the younger, younger days, early age, buying a little, buying a little property here and there. All that money started piling up. His empire got bigger. God, he couldn't stand that. Big Juke couldn't stand that. That junk was hurting their feelings. And I'm lying. What are we talking about? Here? Everybody was rocking a PRE chain.
Rest in peace to Young Dolph, man. Smash that like button. I just want to show y'all my boy wanted to break it down to y'all what it, what it is for real. And this is around the time when he signed Black Youngster. That The, the clips I just played, y'all. Shout out to, um, to Dirty Boy. Shout out to, you know what I mean, 107.9 down there. What we talking about? Them ATL niggas don't even like no guy down there. They, they mess with Dolph more. Am I lying? Atlanta, tap in. Come on, now, what we talking about, man? That boy, yo, God, he a fake, man. He a fake. He's one of those you fake it till you make it. And that's what Dolph basically tried to explain to people. Why would I sign to a nigga that I know and what he's spitting, my money's pacing. My money right now is probably longer than his. Pause, because he had to get that to sign to a big label. I got this from the dirt up. Selling mixtapes out the trunk. Not saying Yo Gotti didn't do the same thing, but his grind obviously wasn't more. His grind wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't leveling up more quicker than Dolph was before he signed them to. Before he signed to that big label. <clears throat> nah, I'm a smoke. Gotti had money coming into the big. Okay, I'm not saying Gotti was broke. Gotti probably did have some change coming out of them streets, but it wasn't Dolph money. <clears throat> that part. What are we talking about here? That nigga wasn't signed to no Universal. He wasn't signed to no Dev Jam. He wasn't signed to Interscope. None of them. And I mean, I'm talking about young. I'm talking about Young Dolph. He wasn't signed to Rock Nation. None of them. How you get mansions and all them cars and come on, man, voice. Come on, what are we talking about here? That boy did it like no other, man. Did it like no other. He had a whole empire going, just like how Nip did. Him and Nipsey the same way. Nip came in the industry with money too. He just ain't shine like how Dolph was shining. That's the difference between Young Dolph and Yo Gotti. So y'all tell me, Memphis, who's the realest out there? Young Dolph and Yo Gotti. Who y'all can? Who y'all think is the realest? Who background like, like what's going on here? Who came in that industry with the bread? Who came in the industry shining? He did it right in front of our face, young dog. Yo, Gotti, man, you terrible, bro. You lied, man. You lied. You wanted that boy out of here, allegedly, because it was too much of a hard, that competition was coming in, coming strong, man. It was coming real strong. It was coming to take over. And I'm not saying that Jay-Z would have dropped you or nothing like that, but I'm just saying Dolph would have outshined you. If he would have signed to a bigger label. And obviously it was gonna happen, probably. But Dolph had Dolph had them numbers in his head that if y'all don't come with these numbers, I ain't beat. <laughs> Rest in peace, to young Dolph though. It's your boy Smoke News TV, man. Do me a favor, smash that like button. Like that smoke up. It's a lot of smoke going on in Memphis. We still gonna talk about it. If they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke News TV, man. I'm up out of here. Salute.